Out of all of the series that we have in Super Smash Bros, my favourite has to be Pokemon. I have played and loved these games for as long as I can remember, ever since I first played Pokemon Ruby on my sister's hand-me-down GBA and picked Trico and just named him K I have been in love with Pokemon. Yes, I actually accidentally nicknamed the Trico K. One lowercase K. Imagine if someone actually nicknamed a real-life pet K. K. Come on K. Walkies K. And even though I love the Pokemon series so much, I do not believe it's well represented in Smash Bros. We have no reps from Gen 3 and 5, yet we have 6 reps from Gen 1. Personally, I feel this issue could be solved with Gardevoir and getting a Gothitelle Echo Fighter, but that's a video for another day. I think, to better represent the Pokemon series, we need some fighters from the Pokemon series that aren't Pokemon at all. Obviously, we already have Pokemon Trainer, and it's great that he's included, and I believe we should have more fighters like him. But what about human Pokemon fighters who join the fight, and they fight for themselves? Let's find out with my list of Pokemon characters who are not Pokemon themselves that I want in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Oh, we need to work on that title. And real quick, before we get into this video, if you would like to leave a like, that would be much appreciated. If you'd like to comment down below what Pokemon you want to see in Smash, and more specifically, what Pokemon characters you want to see in Smash. Give us one in each, it would be nice to have that discussion down below. Subscribe if you enjoy the video, and without further ado, let's begin with the first pick. Now this is the one we all saw coming. This is the obvious one. The protagonist of the Pokemon anime, Ash Ketchum, should join the battle in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Oh fuck, my mouse just fell. Now, if you listen closely, there's the word that's gonna piss people off. Anime. Oh kids, Sakurai said no anime characters will ever get into Smash Bros. Firstly, he said Ridley will never get in. And secondly, this is the Pokemon anime. Just because Ash himself doesn't originate from the games, everything else does. So this really blurs the line between anime character or video game character for Ash, and I think it's enough to justify his inclusion. In short, what I'm saying is, Ash himself may originate from the Pokemon anime, but that doesn't mean he's not a video game character. Pokemon is a video game based thing, obviously. So why not have Ash? Ash, in my opinion, would function best if he weren't like Pokemon Trainer, with three Pokemon that he can cycle through with the press of downbeat. Ash's first Pokemon would obviously have to be Pikachu. Now I know this will raise some red flags as Pikachu is already in Smash, but hear me out here. Before Ultimate was out, I heard a lot of people complaining that the original Smash Fighters movesets are outdated and that they need a revamp, and I know Pikachu may not be as outdated as other fighters, but why not give Ash a revamp Pikachu? To distinguish this Pikachu from the one we already have in Smash, we can make one small aesthetic change. Giving this Pikachu Ash's hat, which the Pikachu sometimes wears in the Pokemon anime. As far as moveset goes, we can give Pikachu his moves from the anime. Electro Ball can be used in neutral specials that can be charged up and it will function like Shadow Ball or Samus' Charge Shot. Iron Tail could be an F Smash or even a Super Armored Special move, or we can even dip into Let's Go Pikachu for moves. Imagine the Balloon move Pikachu uses or Recovery. Or, Pikachu's known to learn Surf before in some special events, why don't we give him a side B where he pulls out his surfboard and uses Surf? The possibilities are endless even though Pikachu is already in Smash. For Ash's other two Pokemon, I won't go into nearly as much detail as I did with Pikachu, but instead I'll just decide on who they should be. My heart says Ash Greninja as he is my absolute favourite Pokemon, but we already have Greninja, and I can't see Sakurai and the Smash team revamping a character that only came out with the last game, but we don't have a fully evolved grass type starter yet, so I believe Sceptile should be Ash's second Pokemon. For the third, it should be either Ash's Infernape or Lycanroc Dusk. Infernape is a fan favourite, and I personally think he would make an amazing fighter, but I'm going to have to give the third spot to Lycanroc. It's just more recent, and it was the star of Ash's winning team in Sun and Moon. Also, when you look at the Smash roster, we actually only have one fighter who is on four legs, and that's Ivysaur, so I think it would be really interesting to get us a second. Finally, I think Ash should have a gimmick called Friendship Meter, where each of his Pokemon has their own individual bar similar to Limit Break, which charges as you land attacks and when you're attacked. When it's full, Ash and that Pokemon can perform a Z-move, which functions as a mini Final Smash. Or, you could just lose another Pokemon League for a final smash. When we look at all of the Pokemon champions side by side, it's easy to see who the fan favourite is. Cynthia. 
And for good reason too. I mean, come on, she's just the best. Her design is sick, her team is sick, and she was most kids' first goth anime GF. <laughs> Cynthia would obviously have Garchomp involved in her moveset, but I feel she would fit best as a duo fighter, where both her and Garchomp are on the field and in the battle. Garchomp and Cynthia would function best if they functioned like Rosalina and Luma, but instead of one character doing more damage and the other doing more knockback, it would be cool if we had one character have large, slow, powerful attacks, and the other having quick, nimble, and evasive attacks. Once Cynthia dies, you lose a stock, but if Garchomp dies, it will lay on the floor and wait for Cynthia to revive her. Similar how to she uses way too many full restores in the Pokemon games. But the reviving Garchomp thing is interesting. We haven't seen Pokemon fainting in Smash yet, and it would be really cool to see how this mechanic plays out in Smash. Also, a shiny Mega Garchomp skin would be amazing. Moving on. I can guarantee that everyone watching this video wants a world where Brock gets to meet the likes of Peach, Palutena and Bayonetta and it's more likely than ever. And now yes, I can hear the same people who complained about my pick of Ash saying the same thing as before. Attention fellow gamers, no anime beyond this point. if you really take a moment to think about it, Brock's first appearance was in the Pokemon games so there's no way you can refute his conclusion. I chose Brock over Misty as he's way more iconic and deserving of a spot than she is, and it would just be amazing to have Brock in Smash. Brock is a character loved by everyone, and he was definitely a beast in the Pokemon anime. For Brock's main method of attack, I went for the most obvious choice I can think of. Hey, I know! I'll use my trusty frying pan as a drying pan! Of course Brock's main weapon to use in Smash would be his trusty frying pan. Well, drying pan. Brock can just use many frying pan slings and use it like a sword fighter. We have way too many Fire Emblem characters as it is in Smash, so why would one more be a problem? And wouldn't it be amazing if Brock's neutral special was a cooking move just like Game & Watch's neutral be? Another idea for Brock specials would be having his rock type Pokemon get in on the action and use moves. Imagine a move where Brock rides on Onyx just like Bowser Jr's side B? Wouldn't that just be awesome riding around on an Onyx in the middle of a Smash fight? I know I'd want it. And of course, an alternate costume for Brock as he appeared in the games and as he appeared in the anime. I know which one I'd be picking. Now I know this one is technically cheating, but hear me out. I said no Pokemon, but just hear me out. At first I thought Ditto could morph into whatever fighter he is fighting. And then I thought maybe Ditto could morph into different Pokemon for different moves. If you think about it, it wouldn't make sense for him to morph into the fighter he's fighting. Firstly, we already have a random button. Secondly, that's what the assist trophy does. But then, finally, the golden idea hit me. What if Ditto morphed into the human characters from the Pokemon series? That's why he's on this list. Even though he's technically a Pokemon himself, the characters who will actually be doing the fighting and doing the moves will be human characters. I thought the best characters for Ditto to transform into and would best represent the series is a strange one, but it makes a great deal of sense when you think about it. Ditto should morph into the NPCs. Pokemon NPCs have been in every Pokemon game, so if you think about it, they're yet to be represented in Smash, not even as a trophy or a spirit. So wouldn't it be amazing if Ditto would morph into the Pokemon NPCs for each move? Sky Trainers could be used for the recovery, Ace trainers could be used for smash attacks, or we could even get wild with it and have Pokemon Rangers use their lassos for the grab. The possibilities are endless. Could you imagine if there was a recovery move? Not as in recovering back to the stage, but as in like Hero's Heal, where it gives you back a bit of health and Ditto transforms into Nurse Joy and heals himself? That would be amazing and insane! And of course, the final smash, Ditto would transform into the most powerful NPC as all. Youngster Joey joins the battle with his Rattata and destroys everything- Wow, that got intense, didn't it? And finally, the choice I believe is most likely, and the choice I think would not only best represent the Pokemon series, yet fit Smash so perfectly and fit the theme of the DLC so far. The one key part of Pokemon that's been in every game and has been consistently amazing every time are the professors. And of course, we need the best of the best of the professors. The original. Professor Oak joins the battle. That's just bizarre, that's what you're thinking. But hear me out. 
Professor Oak would make a perfect joke character for Fighter Pass 2, if there's a Fighter Pass 2, should I say. We had Piranha Plant for the first Fighter Pass, and he was amazing. It was silly, it was stupid, it was easy to implement because he's first party. Now, imagine a Professor Oak. He could just function similar to Dr. Mario. Honestly, if they made him a Dr. Mario Echo Fighter, I wouldn't be mad. I can imagine Professor Oak doing that stomp, but imagine if Professor Oak did this. What if he had a move where it stopped the opponent from moving, and it was Professor Oak saying, there's a time and a place for everything. You can't ride your bike right now. What if one of his moves caught the opponent in a Pokeball? What if his grab, he threw a Pokeball at him, caught him, emulating the catching tutorials that just go on for too long in every Pokemon game? Professor Oak would be the perfect character to be self-aware. He would be amazing to take the mick out of Pokemon. I love Pokemon. I don't believe we should take the mick out of it, but I believe it would be amazing if Professor Oak was a self-aware joke about the Pokemon series and all of the unrealistic parts about it. And I think that's why Professor Oak is not only the most likely Pokemon character to be in Smash Lex, aside from a Gen 8 rep itself, but I think Professor Oak would be the best rep from the Pokemon series. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like on it and definitely subscribe for more videos. I will be uploading a video every Saturday and live streaming every Monday, and that is a promise. Don't forget to comment down below what characters you want to see from the Pokemon series. It could be a Pokemon or it could be a human character. Give me one of each. It'll be nice to have that discussion in the comments. And definitely check the description to follow me on Twitter and Instagram for updates. Thank you for watching this video. It means the world to me, and I'll see you in the next one. Go Beyond Plus Ultra.